Hey guys, it's early in the morning. I don't even have makeup on, but I want to show you um, how you can work with what you have to help with just the the um, health of your hair. Um, I had some bananas, some tangerines, and some strawberries laying around my house. And one of my favorite things to do for fun is to make smoothies. So I decided, you know what? Let me make a smoothie this morning, and let me just show you the benefits. So I have a banana, tangerine, and strawberry. So here are they right here. Okay. Um, bananas are really great because they have um, great bananas actually help with split ends and the health of your hair. I was reading up on it. Um, it has. Oh, I forgot. The exact, I'll get back to you guys on that probably when I'm done taping this segment. But anyway, it helps with the split ends and the health of your hair. Tangerines and um, strawberries both have vitamin B in it, and so, which is also another good vitamin for your hair. So you not only are you having a delicious smoothie, but you're having. Um, beautiful looking hair as a result of just doing this continually um, okay so because one way to get you know healthy hair and hair that grows is to eat healthy you know some people don't have to eat healthy to get healthy hair but the majority of people have to and if you don't like vegetables fruit and smoothies are another uh, alternative so let me show you the first step so first I put a banana I'm sorry I put this banana in the blender okay so this blender is kind of old I had it for a while then I cut up I pre-cut some tangerines so I'm sorry guys I pre-cut some tangerines so I'm just gonna put the take the tangerines Which I have peaches now looking the way that I cut them, you know. And you want peaches. And then I have these delicious sweet strawberries. One second. Sorry about that guys. And now I am going to put some ice in it, so let me just ow. I some the ice melted and it flickered on my eye so okay so I'm gonna just take some ice cubes put it in there put it in there put it in there it's just some couple of ice cubes so so far that's about four ice cubes I add some this gives it a nice you know slushy effect. Also, this is not organic juice, it's Tropicana Tropical Punch. I know, I know. Um, to go, you know, completely organic and healthy. It's good to have juice, but this is the only I have like five bottles of Tropicana juices. And it was on sale. So I have it. So I'm gonna put it in here. And I'm just gonna put a little bit. You know, some people put orange juice. I like to put regular juice because it just gives it, I, and I didn't put a lot, there's more fruit in there than anything. Okay, so now, sorry, that's a wire for my camera. It's gonna die. So now, I hold this like this, and I'm gonna press um, Ice Crush because the ice is really solid in there. So, okay. Just taste it. 
just to make sure it's it's good. If I have to add any ingredients because some people think that smoothies have to be disgusting and they have to be this nasty, which is not the case. Why can't I? Why am I always finding spoons? I'm always finding spoons in the time. Okay, I'm just gonna use this big spoon. Oh, that was out of focus. So let me just taste it. Okay, back on me. Hmm. Let me taste this a little bit more. And it's really good. Okay. So now I'm gonna show you to my final step. My mother always tell me that presentation is key, whether you cook it or you make it. So because people are gonna eat it and drink it if it looks great. As long as it looks great, that it makes people more inclined to drink something or eat something. So I put the smoothie in this nice little wine glass and um, I cut the strawberry and I just put it in on like this and voila! It looks delicious, right? Okay, enjoy your day guys. Bye!